Good morning, boys and girls. Let's do some math. So today, today's a big day because we are going to finish up our chapter in subtraction, right? Now, we'll get back to subtraction. This isn't the last subtraction we're going to be doing, okay? So I see you guys doing those dances out there because you're so happy, but we're not done yet. This is just the beginning, but we're going to take a break for a little while is what I mean. Before we take that break, Let's review some of the strategies that we learned and then do some, some problems. Today, at the end, after we're all done, I want you guys to do your one-minute math, okay? And if you'd like, pop on to Starfall. Practice some math on there. So let's get down to it. We learned a couple of different ways to do subtraction, right? A couple of different strategies that we had. And we're going to practice those right here. So first off, we need a problem. We get a problem like, uh, how about 13? minus 7. 13 minus 7. So one way we, we tried was with dots. And with dots, with subtraction, we draw all of them. This is the biggest number, right? And then we take away from that total. Okay? So there's 10, 11, 12, 13. Now how many am I taking away? 7, right? So I'm going to circle and cross out seven of these dots. So here's five, here's six, and seven. There they are, and we cross them out. Now to finish this up, all we do is count what's left over. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thirteen minus seven equals six. That is our dot strategy, right? So thirteen minus seven equals six. We can test this out by using other strategies to make sure that we got it correct. One strategy we can use is a number line. Now, if you don't have a number line with you or handy or you left it somewhere like I did, then we just create our own. So, create our own number line. Just draw a line like that and then start off with one and start counting up. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I could stop there because the biggest number that I'm going to have is 13. So let's just see. 13, let's jump back 6. We're going to jump backwards 6 because we're taking away 6. Okay, this is one way to do it. We we'll only count when we land one of our jumps. Okay, so we start at 13. Let's go back 7 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven ended up on six. Look at that. Very nice. Now remember, addition and subtraction are related. So we just counted back. We can also count on. We can also count on. Now, if we didn't know that this was six, we weren't sure, and we're really, really not not uh, too comfortable with our subtraction just yet. We can use addition to help you solve that. Start at the lower number. And count on until you reach the bigger number, right? And then you just count how many jumps you made. So we start at seven this time, and we're gonna we're gonna jump until we reach thirteen, and then we're gonna count how many jumps we had. Ready? Or we could actually just count it right here: one, two, three, four, five, six. We landed on thirteen. How many jumps was that? Six. Look at that. Counting on. Counting back on that number line. Either way, if you are more comfortable doing using addition to help you solve subtraction, do it. I give you permission. All right. We're looking for your best strategy, yours and yours alone. All right. Doesn't matter what anybody else is doing. If this works best for you. That's the one that you do. Now we also had our dots, right? We could use our dots, and dots are much like our cubes, right? We have our our cubes set up, and we can count them. Out as well. Now, these strategies uh, are all equally good. All that matters is that you're comfortable with it. Okay. Now, one of the problems that I noticed that is is tough, um, and it's always tough, but we're gonna give it a give it a go here. Is one with a, a missing number, right? And one is a missing number. So, if I had a problem that looked like 12 minus, and there's nothing here, 
equals 6. And when we first see this, we say, what? I don't know. It gives me one of the numbers, gives me the answer, but it's missing the other number. What do I do? Well, 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 well. We can do a number of things. Just like we did in our last video. Yeah, the camera angle is kind of rough. Just like we did with our last video, we can count on or count back. Because we do have one of the parts. We have the whole. So we can take the whole, subtract this part, and that'll give us this. Or you can start here and count on until you get here. Either one's fine. So for this one, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, I have a, a, a missing number. Oh, no, what do I do? I'm going to use my dots. I'm going to draw 12 dots over here. There we go. And now I'm going to take six of them away. Because that will give me this answer. So here's five, six. And you might already know this answer if you know your doubles facts, huh? You might, might be thinking, hmm, that looks familiar. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that. Look at that. Not so bad, right? Not so bad. And that's just using the first strategy that we talked about all year. Just using our dots. We can find that missing number. So when we see a problem that has a missing number like that, we don't have to panic. We don't have to be afraid. We can do it, right? We can all do it. Now, I'm going to get another color for our next problem because I've been using this black all day and it's time to change it up a little bit. How about, how about red? Red sound good? Okay. Now we're going to do another missing number. Another missing number. Now don't want us to panic. Here's 14. Taking away an unknown number. 14 minus something, uh-oh, equals 5. 14 minus something equals 5. What would be your first step? What would you do first? Yes, that's right. I don't have a number line, so I'm going to draw one. That's my first step. So let's draw this number line down here. And we start off at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, because 14 is our biggest number, so we stop right there. So let's take a look. 14 minus something equals 5. I can do it either way. I can start at 5 and count on until I get to 14, or I can start at 14 and count back. I'm going to count back this time. I'm going to count back 5. Start at 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What did I land on? The 9. 14. Minus 9 equals 5. There we go. We're solving for problems that have a missing number, right? We have a missing number. Now, if you think about any subtraction problem that you're getting that is 8 minus 5, there's a missing number, right? It's the difference. You're finding the answer on that one. This, These ones, we're finding one of the parts. We're already given the answer and the whole. We're finding a part. Okay, so today I'm going to give you a few problems. That I want you guys to do. I want you to solve any way that you can. I want you guys to do your best on this and I want you to do as much of it without help as you can. Do it on your own. If there's some you don't know, let me know. Say, hmm, I wasn't sure. I couldn't figure this out and we will do it tomorrow. So I'm going to give you guys some, some regular problems with some big numbers, some with some smaller numbers, some with some missing numbers. I want to see how, how well we do with that. Because I know it, it's tricky, but I know that you guys can do it as well. Okay, so we're coming up with some good stuff here. Yep, and, oh, I wonder if that one will trick you up. Okay, so, so far, we have 9 minus 5. We have 17 minus 6. I have 9 minus something equals 5. I have 11 minus 7. Over here, 6 minus 6. 6 minus 6. How about this one? 
12 minus 6. Let's go a little bit higher. What about 14 minus 8? And finally, 20 minus 9. Oh, boy. 20 minus 9. All right. Boys and girls, thank you for joining me for math. Have fun with this. Enjoy. We're going to be taking a break from subtraction after this. Do your absolute best. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.